I hope you can hear that. Hello, we are back. We're back at the at crappy house where I shoot pigeons off of that silo. And uh, we are testing out something today that I've been wanting to show you guys for quite a while. And, uh, and I know you've been wanting to see. So without further ado, let's get in this house. And it is looking rough. It's almost more cat shit than it is house. <laughs> Maybe it's a raccoon. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's eating well. Oh, broken glass. No more door here. Yikes. This has got teenagers written all over it. <laughs> the goal for today is to get some pigeons to eat. I haven't had any in about a year or so. Yeah, here's that cat. Nice, huh? Yeah. Remember that? That's why I banged my head. Ow, mother. Oh, Sass Manila. Oh, that was sore for like a year after that. And here is our room. Hang on. I have always wanted to do this. Yeah. Oh, that felt good. And as I said, haven't touched uh, this farm in a year. Oh, there's one up there right now. Should have enough birds to shoot today to mm. make another pie. Let's have a look at that, see what happened. We were out of the south, now it's out of the northwest, just like that. He crashed hard. Right there. Where did this old boy get hit? That first bird is right here. And this one's pretty remarkable because it was just a glancing blow. As you saw, this guy was stone dead when I got up to him. But it looks like all the bullet did was just kind of graze his cheek. But the damage was severe enough that he came down and uh, was dead within minutes, at least by the time I got to him. So that, that's a first sign that these things might be hitting a bit harder than pellets. Back to the shooting. He fell off the back right here. I'm really, really hoping that he did not fall into that giant pit of manure. I hammered him, he shouldn't have gone far. So where is he at? There he is, right there, by the mark. See him? Right. I can point him out, this is hard. Oh, and the sun, where are my glasses? Give him a flip here. Yeah, square right there. All right, here's that bird entered, I think, through the back right shoulder. And again, out the crop, blowing a big hole and uh, his whole day's work. Let's just figure out how far away that puddle is out there in the field. All right, I got about 145, 150. Got my two birdies here. We're gonna go over to grandma's and see what these slugs do to sparrows and squirrels. So we're taking a pit stop here before we go to grandma's because I was driving past my buddy's farm. <laughs> Holy crap! I mean, they were just lined up. The pigeons were just lined up on the, the rain guard over the barn. So uh, yeah, we're gonna stay here for just a bit. I still want to see the sunset. Yeah, we're burning daylight fast. I still want um, to get to grandma's to try these out on a couple squirrels, but we have time. Top of that silo. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun here. Oh, starling.
Can you see him? It tipped him right over, feet st still up in the air. It is so loud. This camera on this gun does not record sound. And that is one thing that's better about the GoPro than this one. You just have to take my word for it. It is so loud. And actually, the small birds are just as loud, maybe louder than the big birds. These things are just wrecking the sparrows, wrecking them. Oh, <laughs> out of ammo. I guess this is a good time as any to show you this. That's what the packaging looks like for these things. They come in this very stylish uh, plastic container. I imagine folks would be reusing these like crazy just for pellets. Um, this is like a, like a durable hard plastic. Anyway, uh, there's birds, so enough of the chatting, shall we? Load up our magazine. Perfect. Man, what a gorgeous day. See him? He's right there. I can never do this. I wonder how vloggers do this. It's right there. There is blood spattered corn all over up here. I'll show you why. Check this out. It hit him in the crop and you, look what flew out of him when he hit the ground here. All this blood soaked corn. All right, here's that bird and it passed through his crop, blowing out a sizable hole and all the corn he'd been eating that day. So if you don't know what pigeons do or how they eat, all birds for that matter, don't have any teeth. They have a crop and they swallow a bunch of gravel and then they swallow the corn and the muscle, the gizzard muscle in their neck smashes the rocks and corn all together and it basically turns the corn into mush and then that passes on to the digestive system. I'm certain you already knew that, but uh, I don't know, I had nothing else to talk about on my way back to the gun. <laughs> top of that silo again, second one off the top of that silo. Come on, come on, come on. Anchored, and he actually fell off the backside, so he'll be much easier to claim. Let's go get him right now while he's still fresh. Exactly where I thought, off the top of the silo, straight down to right there. And here's that last bird. Very distinct entrance and exit wounds on this one. Enter on the left side, upper chest. Exit on the right side, upper chest. This pigeon is the only one where I sent it through you know, the bulk of his mass. So we're gonna open this, oh my God, that's really soft. Oh, that's weird, so weird. All right, let me get this guy open. So here's the wound channel, and you can see just how much corn these boys can stuff away. Wow, it actually blew the corn from his crop down under his breast meat. It entered through his left side, came out his right side, and man, it just tore up everything in there. There's broken ribs in here sticking out. This is why these things are going down so hard. This is what gives them no chance. And I like this, it sets my mind at ease. If one flies off, I know I didn't get a piece of him. Because if a glancing blow on the head can kill him like that, yeah, it's all or nothing. You either knock him down or they fly off with nothing but a couple feathers off him. But you might want to avoid shooting your prey in the bulk of their best meat because uh, it turns them into pigeon burger. Keep them shots high in the crop. Back to the farm. Let's finish our day. Alrighty, let's uh, see if we have enough time to get just a couple more. Yes, we do, they're landing right now. I rushed that shot. Sparrow out there at about 80 yards.
I know I'm supposed to go to grandma's, but they just keep landing. It's hard to walk away from this when I was sitting on my butt for two and a half hours at the other place waiting for two birds. <laughs> There's still time. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I gotta level with ya. Uh, I'm not gonna go shoot any squirrels today. This farm is just too hot to walk away from right now. I've never hammered so many starlings this late in the season. We'll save the squirrels for another day and I'm gonna keep working this farm. I reduced my camera from 480 frames per second to 240. That should keep us with good visibility well into dusk. Check around the corner here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's around the corner over there. Be right back. Forty-yard shots are gimmies. All too easy. Mm, love it. Well, that's about it. Looks like everything has gone in to roost. We're gonna call her for today. I think we had a fantastic showing of what these things can do. My longest shot today was about 80, 90 yards or so. So, not reaching out too much just yet. I still need to learn these trajectories because, yeah, I sent a lot of pellets overhead today. See, I said pellets. I sent a lot of hybrids over heads today. This technology is super, super cool. And they have shot well out of air arms guns. So we know that these hybrids shoot well in STX barrels, but this is an air arms. This is a Lothar Walter barrel. And we have spinners out at 50 yards. Those spinners are uh, an inch or maybe just slightly bigger than that. And uh, Lothar Walter barrel can absolutely shoot these things at least at 50. I know they do pretty good at 100 too, but I'm not gonna speak about that today because I don't have hard numbers for you. Are you good, cameraman? We are good. All right, good. hold for wind now, and Just. here we go. All right, I think that's some pretty solid evidence. Uh, Lothar Walter, shoot him too. All right. Thanks for filming for me. No problem. All right. And they shoot lights out out of the Smooth Twist X barrels. They're also so-so out of the Smooth Twist barrels, um, but that's something for a future video. I will break it all down, show you everything I can about these, because if you're gonna spend this amount of money on them, you need as much info as possible. I would want as much information as possible. So I'm gonna show you everything I can think about, but check that over at the Holdover Vlog, because every little, you know, mini experiment I do, I'm not gonna drop on this channel. But keep the big productions on this one and all my rinky dink stuff will be over there. Link down in the description to the holdover vlog if you wanna take a look at that. And I wanna just say, you guys are freaking amazing. I asked you to like the video last time and I'll, I'll show you exactly what happened. If you wanna know exactly what you did, cause you helped me a ton and I'm very grateful for it. Bend the YouTube algorithm back to our community. It's possible. All right, thanks for watching guys. See you later.